shoots, misses. Fourth time against seven makes for this game. Gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Passes it to Short. To the inside. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Here's Teodosic. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Here's Shorty. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Shorty's got 11 in the second half. Well, that's simply a great move there, Kevin. He dusted off the defense and got to the cup for the easy basket. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Teodosic. Kalinic gets to the corner and buries it. And, and that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Here's Shorty. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Been a stellar outing in this one for Shorty. He has 20 points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times, he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. He's off on the second. Gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Here's Nedovich. To the paint. Cuts off the pass. Fast break. Here they come. And Nedovich pulls it down. Nedovich has got his third rebound on the night. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Offensive rebound. And, uh, oh, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. That's good from Yarebko. Here's Teodosic. Down low, here's Radulica. Misses from short range. In the fourth quarter, has been efficient at 56%. B, the pass to short. Over to the wing. Here's Cabongo. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. Here's Teodosic. He feeds it to Radulica. Pulls it up. Hits the jump hook. Radulica's got four points in the quarter. That was just a perfect possession, getting it in tight for the high percentage shot. Shorty the pass to B. Taylor's checked in for Cabango. That's his second personal foul. Substitution on the floor. Here's your red goal, and a miss there off the inbound. On 6 of 12 from outside, a very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. Kalinic, it falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's Shorty. Pass to B. Outside, Taylor. Over to the left wing. 
clock at four. Knocked loose. And here we go. The shot's good from Nedovich. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. And they just keep finding the open man. Here's Shorty. He dishes it to Yurebko. Here's Shorty. Plays it up and Shorty. puts it in. Shorty's got 23. No hesitation at all right there. Just right up against a much bigger defender. Man, and I love that fearlessness, that aggressive attitude. Boy, I love watching guys play with that kind of abandon and freedom, Greg. It's a beautiful thing, man. And he gets it to go. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball movement out there. Definitely 10 of their last 12 points have come off assists. an update from the sidelines. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Scott Skiles said to his team. He talked to his guys about the importance of functioning as a unit, not as individuals, and on the need to help each other find open shots on the perimeter. He also said something you don't hear too often from a coach. He told his guys they should have a shoot-first mindset instead of trying to be, quote, too cute with the ball. With the minutes ticking down and the deficit still a big one, those adjustments have to be a chance worth taking, Kevin. Thanks a lot, Doris. Looking at the numbers for Jonas Jerepko. 18 points, and he's come away with two steals as well. He's blown up some plays out there. And it also shows you the importance of intelligence as a defender because he has been a nightmare on the ball. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. For three. Rebounded by Yurebko. Yurebko's got four rebounds in this game. Boy, did they need that rebound. I mean, they have struggled on the boards overall, but still with the chance to win. Exactly, because they've made enough plays to keep it close. And as a result, they're still in it. Can't get it to go. Gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And the pass to Taylor Dosich. Here's the screen. Down low, off the pick. And it's good on the layup. Radulitz has got ten points in just the second half. Boy, this defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys, giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor with their offense in the paint because that has not been up to par. Radulitzer with the rebound. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. 125 left in the fourth quarter. And it's Shorty with the foul. That's his first foul. Remember, for a long time, flopping was like the number one concern in the NBA. I mean, it still happens a lot, but the rules have curbed it quite a bit. We have seen less and less flopping the last few years. 122 left in the fourth quarter. Come to me, come to me. Here's Nedovich, six on the shot clock. And it's blocked, and the ball ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. Welcome, fans, to the FIBA World Tournament. 111 left to play in the final quarter. No good on the quick three. Some doubted how the flopping finds would have worked. Overall, there have been less egregious flops uh, for the better in the NBA. Yeah, and there will always be room for embellishment, but I like the finds because it really does minimize the number of extravagant flops. Guys have adjusted and they're not laying down as much as they used to. Pass to Jokic. Six to shoot. Launches a three. That's good. And really no better feeling than to go on the road and play this well and get the win. Yeah, it's always a good win when you play the kind of game 
they have played tonight. I mean, especially, though, when you get it done on the road. That's a special, special feeling there. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. Fires for three, and he gets the bucket. And how about that for a response? Well, it sounded as though, or at least it looked as though it sounded like, we'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. And so the road team gets the W in this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And